One story that struck a chord with me was an Edinburgh-based busker who, despite the weather, is making her way around Europe with her piano to earn some cash. Now, Vroni Holzman says the key is to stick a cheap piano in the back of a van and hit the road. It takes months of planning, and when she gets to where she's going, she, she asks kind locals to help her set up. And I spoke to her a wee while ago. I think I never thought I could be an artist, but then I couldn't help just making art all the time. So I just do music and photography and different things. I studied both of those as well. And tell me about the piano, because I looked up, you've been doing this for a while. What gave you the idea of taking your piano on tour effectively? Um, I started it not on tour. I started it at the Edinburgh Festival, and I thought I haven't seen a piano out there, uh, so I'm going to try that. And I just bought a cheap piano and a cheap van and tried it out. And then when I felt like people really loved this, I the next year I decided to go on tour. And for this, I tried to find a smaller piano, a better van, and then I started travelling with it. Where have you been? Oh, <laughs> I've been in a lot of places. I did... Um, I did UK tours and German tours, and then I started going all over Europe, really, to Scandinavia, um, south to some, to Italy and Austria, um, the West, France and Belgium and Holland, and um, I did a Baltic tour once where we were in <laughs> Latvia and <laughs> Lithuania. How does it work then? You genuinely take a van with a piano in the back of it, and then what happens? At first, before I go, for a few months, I spend time trying to get permissions from cities because if I arrive there and they won't let me play, then it's quite hard. You made all this effort. So I see if I can get these permissions. And then if I manage that, I drive into the city and I try and get close to the pedestrian zone. Uh, then I ask some people to help me unload something. <laughs> I obviously don't have a loading team with me, so I always have to get passes by. Do you tell them it's a piano? Uh, well, they, I, I'm like, can you help me unload something? And they come over and I'm like, it's actually a piano. And by that point, they sort of, you know, often do it. Um, but obviously I get a few people so that we cope with it. Um, and it's harder to load it after than to get it out. Uh, mm. So I always get a few strong guys. And then... Um, yeah, and then I have to take the van away, which is why I need someone else with me who helps me because I have to separate the vehicle and the piano and I can't leave that piano, obviously. So then someone helps me by looking after the piano and I go and take the van away. What have been the great times? What's, what's been the best times you've had doing this? I think the most amazing thing is when it turns into a sort of I don't know. It's always a relaxed atmosphere. I don't really like this sort of sit-down concert type style. I prefer that they can, you know, still chat and still do whatever they want, but also listen. But sometimes the whole just crowds build and just love it. And it's just beautiful. Sometimes people start dancing or, you know, or talk to me about this one woman said, this music reminds me of my father and she started crying a little bit and I found that so moving. And just people get quite emotionally affected by it sometimes. Um, well, I'm an emotional person anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah. Yep. Music, music does that, doesn't it? It and does. I... You're on tour just now. What's happening? Where are you? So I've arrived... Um, at my base, I was in um, Germany and France, and um, tomorrow, no, the day after, heading for Austria and Italy, and then I'll come back here. This is where I grew up. I can still stay there, and it makes things a little bit easier. And uh, then I'm going to go starting to travel back up to Scotland, and uh, I would love to hit Luxembourg, but I haven't got the permission yet, so we'll see. And is it, it's busking, is it? So you're collecting some cash, hopefully, then you find somewhere to stay. How does that all work? Yes, um, it is pure busking, and it doesn't 
Yeah, it's it's quite tricky actually, uh, because you'll never know if you have any income wherever you go. And uh, so I try and stay with friends if I can. Uh, if I have to book something, I'll just book the cheapest. I just have to do it all on the really cheap. There's no other way. You move on somewhere else. Sounds like a great life. Well, it's um, it's a challenge and then a reward. So um, what I haven't mentioned yet is my biggest enemy is obviously the weather. Mm. The minute there's a drop of rain, I have to stop or can't even start. This is a major issue. Next week, Austria, Italy, there's nothing but thunderstorms forecast. So I sometimes I don't know if I'll be able to do it. You have to just go there and try anyways. And that's obviously why it's not done a lot, because it's just such a challenge. But I'll give my best and try. And once I'm set up and I can play, it's wonderful. Sounds it, doesn't it? That's Ronnie Holzman from Edinburgh, who is busking around Europe with a piano in the back of a van. It's drive time. We're just heading up to just before five o'clock. Thanks for your company.